Hey guys, this is Sari Torres from the Pixel Slayers. Today we are unboxing Sonic Mania Plus for the Nintendo Switch. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is Sonic Mania Plus for the Nintendo Switch. And just off the get-go, look how shiny this is. I like the whole, you know, going into the center effect with the lines and everything. Nice little touch. The side, obviously you'll see that this is a much thicker game than your normal Switch Fair. Um, taking the actual game out, uh, you can see the width difference there so that might make things look a little a little different on your shelf i know we were kind of trying to figure out how to position it on our shelf especially since alphabetically this comes sort of near the middle of our game collection so uh yeah <laughs> these oddly shaped games uh, you gotta figure out what to do with them you know <laughs> uh, how to display them and all that and uh here is the back the ultimate celebration of past and future and isn't that just the best way to describe this game um, I apologize if it's a little difficult to read with this shiny this shiny uh, print you'll see my my camera right here uh, it's just that shiny so we've got an all-new adventure with Sonic Tales and Knuckles full of unique bosses rolling two-day landscapes and fun pixel perfect gameplay we got the two new characters and the all new encore mode. We haven't played this too much just yet, so uh, we did beat the original version of Sonic Mania, which we had digitally on the PS4, and uh, we were waiting to get it for the Switch until they had this nice physical copy. Uh, so, yeah, we've got yet to play the Plus version too much. So this isn't really a review of the game, this is more just look at how pretty the box is and all that and of course we'll move this like this we've got the actual game case right here and this says pretty much what the other box said on the back and we open this up and you'll see we've got the alternate art that we can flip right here i'll do that in just a second but first we'll take a look at this right here, of course, is the Switch cartridge. Very tiny. And here is a little advertisement for the Sega Shop. And they got their merchandise. And on the back, got an app for Sonic Forces. Not gonna comment on that, but uh, yeah, I think you, I think no matter if you liked Sonic Forces or not, I feel like you would have to argue that Sonic Mania is the better Sonic game of that year. You know, it's... Yeah, I heard a lot of mixed things about Sonic Forces, but the one thing I always heard was Sonic Mania was much better than Sonic Forces. But here's the, uh, something really cool that you can do here. This flips. This is an alternate little case you've got here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in on the other side, which is how we're going to keep it at our house. Okay, so we have flipped this. You'll see the original is in the inside now. And when we close it, you've got this Sega Genesis inspired case here. And I like how, how the artwork is even sort of looking back to the, the sort of design style of the 90s on those Genesis packages. It's really great. I love how they have their own specific artwork for this. It, it looks, just looks wonderful. And on the back, it even has its different stuff on here. So, Evil Dr. Eggman is at it again. Push blast processing to the next level with high definition graphics. I love that they included the little nod to the blast processing, quote unquote, of the Genesis. Five rad characters. Rock and digital quality soundtrack. Graphics so crisp you'll think it's 1999. Somewhere Prince is smiling about that one. Somewhere 
in the Crazy Prince Party Afterlife. Yep, Sonic Mania, it is like it's 1999, or more specifically, maybe like 1994-ish. <laughs> um, and there's more. What is this? This is the Sonic Mania Plus Art of Sonic Mania. And this is just a nice book. It's got it's got some girth to it. It's not huge, but it's it's not small. And oh my gosh, I'm absolutely loving all this. And of course, there's the, uh, the little transmission truck where it transmits you through the level. These are definitely parts of the Sonic Mania experience here. The tubes and all that. Oh, and these are these are taken from the intro to the game, which is all traditionally animated. I'm not gonna read through all this. If you wanna, if you wanna read it, you gotta get it yourself. But yeah, we'll just skim through this real quick. We've got we've got the characters. We've got some cool artwork of the game. We got some enemies here. Hard boiled hoodies. There's Mighty the Armadillo and Ray the Flying Squirrel, which are new to this version of the game. Oh, and I love these full page artworks of uh, different screens of the game. Very crisp. And all the expressions of Sonic. There's just some sketches. And like I said, we're not gonna go through all this. I'm just sort of flipping through this. But it is a pretty substantial little art book. Um, oh, there's all the different sort of iterations they went through for the logo design. Yeah, if you're a Sonic fan, I definitely suggest you pick this up. They've got a lot of cool stuff just in this little art book. I mean, I would pay a good, you know, 10 bucks just for this art book and, and it comes with the game. So might as well get that. And yeah. the very nice, nice glossy pages. Nice. Well, I don't know if that's glossy, it's more of a matte, but very nicely done, I gotta say. And um, I, the only thing, and, and this is a pretty small thing, the one little nitpicky thing I have about this package is I wish they would have put something right here. Because if you pick this up, Yep, <laughs> bonk, everything just kind of falls right out. And uh, I mean, it's a very, very minor complaint, but uh, something right here would have been a little nice. But this is Sonic Mania Plus uh, for the Nintendo Switch. And I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. We've got quite a few unboxings on this channel and a bunch of other stuff. So, uh, so I'd just like to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.